In this video, I'm going to share with you the best gun bunch defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on all of the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. All right, guys, so I had a little bit of a breakthrough. I was working through some things for my newest defensive guide. I'm actually still working on that guide, but I wanted to bring to you today a video that is actually a, a principle that we are actually going to talk a lot about in my next defensive guide. But we do kind of touch on this a little bit in our three through five wide defensive guide, which I would tell you personally, if you want to have one offense that is super, super glitchy and super, super effective, I would tell you right now to check out the three through five wide defensive guide. It can literally shut down any offense, anything that they do, you're going to have an answer to it. But what we're talking about specifically today is a specific type of coverage that you can't actually call, you have to create it. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to audible down to the cover four show two. Really quickly, I want to go through my coaching adjustments. Um, as you can see, I have auto flip on, auto alignment set to default, ball in air defense to play ball. And then all of these are on default, as you can see right here. And that's really what we're going to focus in on for the purposes of this video. And we're going to specifically spend a little bit of time in this video talking a little bit about a couple of different things as it pertains to Gun Bunch. The first thing that I want to talk about is this idea of match coverage from Cover 4 Show 2. Now, obviously, we know about match coverage. You'll see here that if I just call the play Flood, uh, Flood is going to burn it over the top. As you can see right there, it burns over the top. So what I want to do in this video is I want to talk about a specific principle that you can use to actually make your quarters a little bit different, a little bit more unique, and probably a little bit more effective, okay? So what you can do is if I audible down to cover four show two, from this point right here, I know that I wanna use her savage, and I also know that I wanna drop one of my linemen into coverage. Now, typically speaking, what I'm gonna encourage you to do is drop the lineman on the bunch side into coverage. So in this example, I would be dropping Gary here into coverage. And so we're gonna drop him into a bluff blitz, as you can see, it's gonna turn him into a three rack hook zone. Now, the next step is really something that you can use on both sides of the field, but I'm gonna start with it on the right, and then I'm gonna work back and talk a little bit about it as it pertains to the left side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply put the circle corner, the outside corner in the bunch, and I'm gonna put him on a soft squat zone. As you can see right there, he's on a soft squat. And I just want to, for purposes of this video, for you to watch this, unfold a little bit. I just want you to kind of watch this. I'm going to run the Z spot setup we all know and love. So I'm just going to run this little setup right here, as you can see. And then we're just going to kind of see how this looks post snap. So I just want to show you this and I want you to watch this corner right. As you can see right here, you still get the match principle. If you notice the quarter flat zone from the cover four quarters still matches onto the receiver. So if we, if we jump into instant replay here for just a moment, I want to prove this point to you. And this is one of the major reasons that a lot of people call the quarters coverage. So one of the biggest reasons is because of how well it can defend this route. If you'll take a look with me here, you'll notice that the slot corner is the corner that is going with him. And as you can see, he is matching him stride for stride and ends up intercepting the pass. So, you know, in all, in all seriousness, we've now taken away one of the first steps to taking away the gun bunch. And so the next thing that I want to share with you is I want to show you how this applies to a play like Flood. So uh, we're just going to do exactly, everything's exactly the same. We're just going to make that one adjustment. So we're going to put that soft squad up there and a three rec. And then we're just using it in the middle of the field. And I want you to watch this play Flood unfold. More than likely, the circle receiver is going to get open, but I just want you to kind of watch how this is going to happen. So I'm just going to drop back into coverage. And what you're going to see here is that the circle receiver indeed does get open. As you can see, it gets wide open over the top for an absolute laser. But what, I, what you might not have noticed is if we jump into instant replay here, this is a new theory that I'm developing on the defensive side of the ball. I actually think it's very, very valuable and very, very relevant for right now, especially with where we're at coverage wise. But if you take a look at this, you're going to notice that my quarter flat, my three rack hook zone and the ones that stay down. If you notice the soft squat, he kind of climbs and then he kind of sits out here, right? He kind of climbs and then he kind of sits out here. So we've taken everything else away. Like the out route, that soft squat's probably going to go get that. Um, you know, we've kind of taken everything else away. We just have to deal with that deep, deep, deep dive that they have okay so one way that you can do this okay one practical tip that you can use uh, within this within this tip here is if you simply did this if you simply put that soft squat out there um, let me make sure soft squat yep so I'm putting a soft squat out there with that quarter flat that's naturally going to match on the corner routes 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the safety into a deep path. Now we know from prior experience that a lot of people like to do this to prevent bombs. In fact, a cover, a deep safety or a deep path on, on a quarter side like this does a very good job of printing this. So I'm gonna just kind of stick with the same play here and call the play flood again, exact same route combination. And I want you to watch, you're gonna notice here that the circle receiver is going to completely get taken away. If I try to throw that bomb again, that's gonna pretty much be an automatic interception. But what you might not have noticed is again, I wanna jump back into instant replay and I'm gonna share with you kind of how this works. And this is the argument that I'm making. So if you take a look here, we've got decent coverage. We've got decent, decent coverage. Okay, so we've pretty much taken away the play flood. We've done a decent enough job and we have taken away the play flood. Now we're gonna take that a step further for just a moment and we're gonna shift and as an offense, I'm now going to call a play like the play mesh. So mesh is very similar to flood, except the primary difference is who's going where, right? That's one of the uniqueness or the one of the biggest challenges of gun bunch. You can't just cross man it because any of those three receivers on the bunch side can be running a corner route, a streak route, or a flat route at pretty much any time. And that's what makes it so good. So you're gonna see here that I've set up a flood concept here to the right. And you're also gonna notice that I have set up that same coverage scheme there with that deep half. And if you take a look at what's gonna happen here, what should happen is that corner route to the circle receiver should get matched up field. As you can see right here, the, sit, the corner does go out there. Now again, he didn't quite get all the way out there like we'd want him to, but he did a decent job. The point is, and we're gonna show you one last play here that I wanna go over. One last play that I wanna go over and then we'll explain kind of what just happened and what you just saw. So if I go to the play smash return, and I want, I want to just simply streak the, streak the R1, and we're going to now flood with the tight end. So I'm going to go to that play, and I want you to watch what happens. You're going to notice here that the tight end is not going to get it open. As you can see, the soft squad is going to play it. This is what you just witnessed. You just witnessed a new meta defense being formed. And that is, in my opinion, something that is actually very um, unheard of at this point in the season. Cover two to the wide side of the field. Cover two to the wide side of the field with cover four to the short side of the field. Let me say that one more time. Cover two to the wide side of the field, cover four to the short side of the field. In essence, a cover nine or a cover six style of defense. And so that's really what we're advocating for. And if you take a look at the, like the effective routes that someone is going to use to be able to beat a defense like this, it actually makes a lot of sense. So for example, if I set that up right there, Right. And then what I do is I take this middle line or this linebacker um, X that's blitzing and I man him up on the circle receiver. There is now no threat. There is now no threat on the right side of the field that can get me. I have the numbers advantage at every turn. And then on the left side of the field, what is actually really cool is I now have someone that I can use to take away post routes, to take away um, all kinds of powerful concepts. And so this really does institute a very interesting style of defense. So again, we're just gonna go to kind of a generic thing, but if you take a look, now you've got someone that can play robber in the middle of the field and, and kind of jump down on some of those in routes, as well as you're, you're now literally able to stop everything they're gonna do. I mean, there's nothing that they, they can, they can no longer flood the right side. They can't any longer flood the right side because of the, of the matching principle of that quarter flat zone. Now you don't even have to, against Gun Bunch, you honestly don't even need to put this guy in a deep half. If you just leave him in an inside quarter, you're gonna be fine. But just to be extra safe, I would put him in a deep half. Just be extra safe, go ahead and put him in a deep half. Deep half. But you're gonna witness something here. So I'm gonna go to the play uh, Z spot again. And I just want you to watch how this is gonna work. All right, so that's the setup. And if you just watch this, again, you're gonna see he's gonna get completely matched stride for stride and there's no window to throw this route. You've got a cloud flat and you've got a matched zone that's coming on top of this route. You, They literally cannot throw that route. It is no longer an issue for you to stop. You've now taken that away. And now all you have to do as a user is you basically have to cover what you really wanna cover anyway in a gun bunch situation. Um, so if I go down to the cover for show two, same exact thing, we're gonna do that, gonna do that. And voila, this is our adjustment. Essentially, it's cover, it's cover uh, two to the wide side of the field and it's cover four quarters to the short side of the field. And now what you're gonna notice is you now literally have a whole nother player that you can use. You know, you can use this guy, you know, however you want to. Um, and then basically you've got this guy right here. So essentially, let's say they try to throw some type of little 
option pattern of the running back. Well, we've completely taken that away. Uh, we've completely taken the dig away because our user can now user that because we don't have to go to the other side of the field. So this is a nice little interesting concept. You can actually do the same in reverse if you wanted to. So like if you wanted to do the same thing in reverse, it would essentially be like this. Um, this is also something that I think is actually very effective. So if I went to the same kind of defense, except the only difference is I'm just going to do that right there. So I, instead of I, I'm now running quarters to the wide side, right? Because that's where it's very likely they're going to run a corner route. And then I'm running like a cover two sink to the left side. This is going to take away everything the running back is going to do. All of those things is going to be taken away. We still have that man coverage on the circle receiver, so he can't get bombed over the top. Um, the only difference is now if they, you know, flood is really the issue. If they run flood, um, the out route to the R1 receiver is a little bit of an issue. But as you can see, I mean, it's a little bit different of a way to play coverage. But I think this actually does have a lot of value. So if you like this video and you want to learn the remainder of the way that I would recommend that you play the 335 wide defense, it's literally broken down into written setups, video breakdowns, and film study analysis that literally will walk you step by step through it and teach you exactly how I run this run this defense in combination with this new little coverage technique. I think you're gonna have a lot of success. Thanks for watching the video. And if you have any questions about the channel or the defense, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. Again, thanks for watching. And if you wanna get the full defensive guide, it is gonna be available for just $15 down in the description.